When we first see Keegan Michael Key in Win yeah. It All, he's your sponsor. Yes. And you're trying to tell him it's a good idea to right. to to take this bag of money that this drug dealer gave you to hold, take That's 500 right. out of it, go gamble it, and make some money. Right. So after reading about this process and everything, my curiosity is. How does that scene get built? Right. How much does written. Keegan know? How much does he want to know? So that scene had been written, and we had done, I personally had done countless drafts on it to find the rhythm of the bit of, you know, you're an idiot, I'm not an idiot, Where, how far we could push that thing. When Keegan got there, we had it, and we read it a couple times. Then we literally got rid of the scripts, and when we started shooting, I would probably, on the first line, do something different to let the other actor know, now there's no net. Like one of the moves I really like to do as an actor is like if I'm doing press with somebody and you know you get asked the same question all day. Right. Well as soon as they ask it I'll answer the way that they're about to answer just and give them a smile to know like let's just f around with each other. Just be with each other and then it's at least fun for us. And so with somebody like a scene like that we would have it memorized but then as soon as they call action I would say a different line so that he's forced to react because when you got talent like that or Joe Latruglio well, these are racehorses. I'd rather see them run full speed than try to remember what I wrote on my computer six months ago. Well, well we know what happens. Yeah, that's the question. Like, how much control do you want to have versus how much you want right. to see what happens? Yeah. Well, but guys like that and pros know what the scene's about. So they will run, but they will run really hard where we're going. And then what always happens with Swanberg movies is these actors are now writing on the spot and giving you perfect buttons where you'll say on a scene that they didn't see, can we show you the scene we wrote? We literally had the same ending but different wording. They're like, yeah, that's how it felt. Uh, Del Close, a Chicago improv guru. Yeah, did, he did, wrote the book, right? Yeah, he wrote the book. He did an old improv that I kind of love as this idea, but... He got some of his best improvisers on stage in front of a bunch of students and they did a whole scene in the kitchen. They didn't do anything to describe what the kitchen looked like, what the walls were, anything. They then asked the audience what the kitchen looked like and about 85% saw like light yellow walls where the cabinets were, but there were no references to it. That's just what they saw because that's what that kitchen was. Right. A good scene is about something and when you're really in it, that's where it's going, unless you're playing for the wrong reasons and you want to be the star and then you do some weird monologue or, you know, do a move like actors who act too much. Well, all of a sudden, like, take a handkerchief out and, you know, or, like, light a cigarette in the coolest way when you're like, cool it with all that. This is building somewhere, and we could either write it or we could find it, but what I like to do is write it before so that Joe and I and our camera operator know where we're going. Then the best is when the actors get to find it organically. That's when you feel like, you know, Joe always does a thing when he's really excited on set where he'll go like, ooh, and that's when you're like, ooh, we're cooking now. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.